excuse the mess this is going to be a quick look at the new 3b hobby 2207 motor and this one is in 1900 kv for 6s so these are the 2207 pro 2 and they also do these guys in a 2408 and a 2306 which was the one i initially wanted but it seems to be somewhat AWOL so I opted to get the 2207 instead and one of the things that caught my eye on this was A I don't know how well this will come across but it's a stunning thing with this sort of deep purple sort of zigzaggy bell on it one of the things that caught my eye is the laminations on this guy are 0.1 whereas the laminations on the 2306 are 0.15 um, and there's a fair other few differences about them so it seems like somebody is actually trying to specifically make make a motor for a specific use so the 2306 are specifically designed to be smooth for freestyle and this one's supposed to be a little bit snappier for race and this particular size is available in uh, 2700 kV and this one which is 1900 kV and it's a really pretty motor. Now the one thing I immediately don't like is we've got a very small M2 set screw on the bottom. So if I just get a driver and let's see how hard it is to come out. And they're claiming there's some patents on this or patents pending. Um, some sort of tech, I'll put the blurb up on the side of the screen, which If you can see that, there is the set screw, and then we basically have almost a little, little spacer, much bigger than the sometimes washers that you find. So that came out really easily, and you'll notice if you look at the bottom of the motor, we've got this nice plastic protection which you used to get on T-motor motors. And the idea of this is that if you accidentally use a screw that's too long, um, you're not gonna short your motors out. I think it's a really good idea and it's nice to see it back again. We've got a little bit of balancing gunk there, but let's just see if I can crack this guy open. Put a screw in the bottom of it and it came off pretty easy. and the bearing came out as well which is handy if you want to change the thing so if we put that back into here and let's have a look at this bell so it all looks pretty normal in there magnets are big and chunky N52s it's a very clean motor As, a, as you can see there's a little bit of balancing gunk there we've got a 7075 aluminium bell and a titanium shaft let's have a look at this guy so the laminations are very fine the, the wire or the windings look like multi-strand and they're packed in tight so it should develop a fair bit of wire. I wonder if the 2306 comes in single strand. It's all very neatly wound. You can see we've got super tight air gaps. And the motor is very smooth. It's a little bit of cogging but not much at all. So if I just put this set screw back in again with its little housing, if I can. Even though it's an M2 bolt or screw, it seems 
pretty good quality there was no issues with getting it out and I didn't feel any rounding which you quite often get so yeah looks like a good mortar the one thing about brother about 3b mortars or they had a tendency in the past I don't think it's so much on the later versions their tendency to run hot but they gave exceptionally good performance so it'll be interesting to see what this guy does in the air if we weigh it sort of 35.4 grams and in the little bag of stuff you get six gold screws and nicely you also get two nuts and they look like decent nuts as well so yeah 36 grams with the nuts so not a bad weight bearing in mind that this has got its wires they're not the longest wires I've ever seen let me just see how long they are so you've got roughly sort of 14 and a half centimeters of wire from the base of the bell so yeah pretty chuffed at those like the like the plastic covering wire looks really thin which is always a little bit of a concern because it's easier to damage it but there's nothing sort of sticking out massively and if you look at the blurb one of the things they're claiming is that the bell and the shaft are much stronger than previous versions so it'll be interesting to see how they fly so yeah apologies that I can't get them in the air straight away but I thought I'd give you a quick look at them I'm really excited about them actually I love a new mortar especially sort of one that's as pretty as this sort of it's a little bit blingy in a really subtle way and because my later quads are sort of using the black and purple colour scheme I'm pretty shallow and that was the thing that caught my eye
But essentially what you're looking at is a quad on its maiden. So I've flashed it to beta flight 3.57, haven't done any tuning, just pulled some pids out my arse um, and gone to fly and made a few tweaks along the way. And I've got to say, it flies a ton better than it did on flight one. And this is going to be one of those sort of videos where it's difficult to know what to say. The motors feel fantastic. They're whisper smooth. Um, they're really quiet at idle. Um, everything about this quad now feels super smooth, almost kiss-like in the way it flies. The only downside is I'm getting a tad more prop wash than I'd like, which is, you know, to be expected on um, an untuned quad. But the motors feel plenty of punch, but they're really, really, really smooth. A little bit smoother than the Zings, and they also have a little bit more power as well, um, certainly at the top end than the Zings and the and the Flywoo 2207. 1850 kb which i'm flying on my preferred um kiss build so these guys are 1900 kb so obviously they have got a little bit more um rpm rpm to them um but they feel really really nice so i'm really chuffed that i asked them um i asked for them to review so i think th 3b have made a really really good malter but yeah um pretty chuffed with how this guy flies for first maiden flight um felt a bit weird because i'm using less camera angle than i usually would do but of course this guy's made for more cin cinematic stuff but yeah 3b hobby or should i say 3br 2207 pro 2 1900 kv motors seem really really good um and these were running really cool even though the temperatures sort of i don't know what it is 23 24 degrees even in the evening right now so yeah check them out I think, yeah, it's difficult to get a, a bad motor right now, but I really, really like these. I'm tempted to say I like them the best, but I think that's always the case when you get a brand new, fresh set of motors. Everything feels great, um, so we'll see how they do. But yeah, really impressed with them so far. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.